The One Way Rachel Quits is the 10th episode of the third season of Friends and as is usually the case, it's another great episode with one of my favourite closing scenes ever. There will of course be spoilers from this point on as I talk about various things that I liked. There's nothing in this that I didn't enjoy. This is directed by Terry Hughes. And the main narrative, of course, focuses on the fact that Rachel quits. And it's sad to see Rachel quitting Central Park, but at the same time, it gives us a great episode. We also spend a lot of time in Central Park, and it's decorated for Christmas. So visually, it's a really beautiful episode. And we get a lot of Gunther. And Gunther is pretty interesting in this, because sometimes he clearly doesn't want to say anything negative to Rachel, but sometimes he's got a bit of an attitude, such as when Rachel says, can't I just look at the handles of the coffee pots? And, and Gunther replies, you'd think. And it's just, it's so great to see these different sides to Gunther. And and I rather enjoyed that part of the episode. It is, of course, a, a significant turning point for Rachel in this episode. Not just because she's leaving Central Park, but because she's embarking on a new career. And I won't spoil anything that happens in future episodes, but certainly this is a, an interesting point for the character and what might happen with her new journey. And I think it's it's, it's about time. I think the timing was was just right for, for Rachel and, and this new chapter in her life. We also have, uh, well, before I get in with Ross's story, we have a story with Phoebe and Joey. Joey is picking up some extra money over Christmas by working at a Christmas tree farm and or a Christmas tree lot I guess and Phoebe goes along and is devastated that the ugly brown Christmas trees get shoved in the back and if they don't get bought they'll go in the chipper and she's distraught and ultimately what Joey and Monica do to make her feel better is lovely visually it looked great very amusing very entertaining and I like this idea of Christmas trees fulfilling their Christmas destiny but at the same time I completely see where Phoebe is coming from. To chop down a tree. I've never had a real Christmas tree. We've always had fake trees. And the idea of chopping down a Christmas tree just for, you know, to have it for a couple of weeks. I don't even know how long a real Christmas tree lasts, actually. Can you get a real Christmas tree at the beginning of December? Will it last the whole of the month? I don't know. Feel free to let me know. But it, it is, you know, an interesting thought. Why would we keep chopping down these trees? I guess if you're planting trees in its place, it's not as bad. But I don't know. It's it's still something that I think Phoebe has a really valid point on. And the episode does a good job of showing that it's not going to be for everybody, put it that way. And then we have a story with Ross. And Ross accidentally breaks... Sarah Tuttle's leg. She's played by Mae Whitman and she is a brown bird. She's trying to sell brown bird cookies to be the person who sells the most to get a chance to go to space camp and I'm really surprised, pleasantly surprised by how much of a backstory we got with her. We got to find out a lot about what her home life is like, how her father loves gambling, how they don't have a television because presumably her father has sold it. And I think they went into a really good amount of detail. They didn't need to, but I think it worked really well. And of course, we have Ross trying to sell the cookies, which in itself is quite entertaining. And also Monica revealing an addiction. Now, I will say I don't like what Ross did. Ross knows Monica has food issues and he taunted her with the cookies. And I, I don't love that. But other than that, I thought that part of the story was very effective and it made me want cookies ultimately it made me want some kind of sugary confectionery um and i guess that's kind of a good thing because it means that people are more likely to buy them if they seem appealing so the way that that story developed i thought was pretty good and it could have been creepy it could have been weird with this fully grown man spending time with these brown birds but it worked really well i don't think it was strange at all and Honestly, I think Sarah is a really great character, very likable and with a very believable response to the situation. And the ending, as I said, is one of my favourites where they've transformed Joey and Chandler's apartment into this space camp and they've wrapped the 
the recliner in tin foil and it's just great fun. It's really entertaining and I really thoroughly enjoyed that ending. There was nothing about this episode that I didn't love. Well, as I said, apart from Ross taunting Monica, knowing too well that she's got, you know, a food addiction to certain kinds of foods. But other than that, I really loved it. We don't get that much of Chandler in here, at least he doesn't have a, a strong role to play other than maybe encouraging Rachel to quit her job. But because the last few episodes have been Chandler heavy with Chandler and Janice, it's not too much of an issue. Really enjoyed this episode a lot. I think I always will. The one where Rachel quits is one that I, I've i always enjoyed it. I like that it's got quite a Christmassy feel to it. And without question, I'm pretty sure it's one that I always will like. <laughs> 